to the game. And uh, spawning in the top left, we have Team Lit Esports Picker. And in the bottom left, in the teal, we have, from uh, Team Unrivaled, we have Monk. The silent but deadly killer, you know, because he's a monk and he met. The question is, though, uh, do the sound of his key, the sounds his keyboards make, are they like, is, do you, instead of the clackety clack clack, is it like, oh. Yeah, I think it's like um, like the wolo -wo -wo sound from uh, AoE 2 uh, that the priests make. <laughs> I, I appear to have um, disturbed uh, the, the great ham with, with my chant, I guess. Um, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I guess. Anyway, we have Picker going for a pull first. I guess this is just a response to the fact that Reapers are going to get hit this map. Uh, Reapers are going to hit much faster on this map than any other map, and dealing with Reapers and new, new Reaper grenades, if you are a uh, if you have a competent Terran player that can micro behind it, is difficult to do. Yeah, um, especially on this map, this is definitely one that a Terran can go like say multiple Reapers uh, or even three axe Reaper. And if you're good at multitasking, you don't really fall behind, even though like your opening uh, with such what many people would consider a cheesy opening. Um, if you're good at multitasking, it's definitely something that you can macro up behind. Yeah. I wish it was a cheesy opening. It would make me feel so much better about myself when I lose to it. But then you find they're like on three bases and, you know, they, they got 1-1 one, one before you do. Yeah. And, and you're like, I didn't lose anything. I was building workers behind this. How did this happen? It's a good opening. Um, I mean, granted, if all the Reapers die immediately and stuff like that, and the counterattack happens, yeah, it's not great. But if they're able to keep putting pressure on the map, even if they're they're not losing anything and you're not losing anything, it's it's a good pressure build. However, I don't think we're gonna get there. We have a Roach Warren coming down. Yeah. On nineteen supply. On nineteen workers, twenty one supply. And uh that tells me something that uh well, I mean, it's Picker. What did we expect, right? I mean, yeah. seriously. <laughs> Um, Monk does have a factory coming up, so if he immediately puts a um, uh, tech lab on it and builds a siege tank, he'll be a lot better um, than like he normally would uh, against dealing with any Roach Ravager shenanigans. Well, he is going to scout this as much as uh, Picker tried to stop it. Yeah, so he should know what exactly he has to do to hold this off. Definitely. So the, the thing is, though, with Ravagers, as uh, I'm going to assume Picker's probably going to get a well. Never mind. He only has one guess. He's gonna. This is just gonna be a uh, Roachling. Um, with Ravagers, at least uh, tanks are not very good because Ravagers models are so much bigger that the splash affects them less, and Ravagers are not armored, so it's not kind of the hard counter you saw. However, this is not going to be some sort of great big all-in. This is a pressure build, right? Picker is droning up behind it and forcing Monk to stay in his main to build early tanks to to do all these things that he doesn't necessarily want to do. Whether it's going to work or not uh, is going to be interesting. I believe I've seen Picker do this to Mojahid. Oh, well, we are going to get some Ravagers. Never mind. Uh, due to Mojahid a couple weeks ago. Uh, at a weekly a couple weeks ago. And sure, you know, he... No, never mind. Yeah, it was Picker to Mojahid. And sure, you know, it helped... Um, what was the word? It kept the Terran in space. It, it did a little bit of damage. But the only problem was the Terran had been macroing behind it and just immediately killed Picker. His macro marched across because Picker had been droning pretty hard behind it, things like that. But, I mean, this is costing Monk some money. It's costing him two SCVs of mining time. It's costing him repair. Yeah, is and, it worth um, it? He also won't be able to float that CC down until he manages to build an army big enough to actually oh, force I like these this. units away. I like this, though. Uh, Picker wants to be able to take a third, and he's not going to be able to. And we have the tank. Uh, tank's going to be able to secure the natural now. That Ravager is going to is going to probably die if, if Monk is on top of his micro. But he's not, so is it This really didn't do a whole lot. Sure the natural's coming down when late. But there's the power of mules, they're even on workers, uh, roughly even on army. There's uh tank of back excuse me, Medanks. The Medanks are out. <laughs> And the third, uh, Monk starting his third. So really, I don't think this did enough as much as Picker would have liked. Yeah. Um, we're probably not going to see anything too aggressive here in the mid-game, since um, Monk hasn't put up two extra barracks, instead opting for that third. Uh, he's probably just going to harass with these siege, or the Medidanks, or Medanks, sorry. Um, 
And just keep the Zerg on three bases and keep them making units to hold off this aggression. That's especially kind of seeing the tech path that Picker has gone for. You know, he, he saw no link speed. He saw the Roaches. He saw the Ravagers. Um, Ravagers don't... Roach Ravager doesn't really... It doesn't really deal with this that well, right? It's very hard to deal with these things um, before you have some sort of anti-air out. Sure, Queens can scratch it. But... Honestly, right? You're gonna you're gonna get a lot of utility out of this, and especially yeah. with this dead air, queens can't hit a lot of it. And especially like, um, just like with how the siege tank works, uh, I guess in this meta, it's a unit that is good all throughout the game. Um, like it's not like a banshee or something that quickly loses value later into the game, but like these siege tanks will become a part of monk's main army later into the game, and he's gonna want to keep them alive. He's not gonna trade these out. And actually, it's kind of looking where we are right now. That 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 position, that is the Terran is going to kill the Zerg position. Real, realistically, um, you kind of put you put tanks right right in this in this choke, kind of right along the side. They have range, and you just kind of drop Marines around it, and it's almost unengageable without a significantly larger army. And even then, you're going to lose a lot because you're not going to be able to hit the tanks. And if the micro is on points, the tanks are going to be picked up if you manage to curse a bile. So that's the position Monk is going to probably probably want to get into. Um, whether and it's all kind of falls down to picker to force the fights elsewhere to take the fight to monk to work through the middle of the map or to, to do something to make sure that he doesn't just immediately take the uh, take the fight there. However, these tanks are getting a lot of damage done. They are oh okay. Monk must that have been was... uh, at his base doing something else. Not ideal. However, I mean he got a let's see. He's gotten a queen. He's gotten two roaches. He's gotten a he's gotten a drone. Um, more importantly, though, if you look at, I mean, these will heal up, right? But if depending on how fast monk pushes, uh, this army is going to be bruised. Especially a lot of these ravagers are very badly bruised. And you know, the ravager wants to stay behind everything. But still, it, it's not the best. I mean, as a zerg, before you fight, you really you want everything to be in tip-top shape. However. Picker does have an advantage right now. He's up 25 army supply. He is about to be up two upgrades. So this is going to be a very good timing for him to try to hit. Yeah, especially uh, in the burning zone of combat shields. Um, it's about halfway done. So if he engages right now, like these marines are just going to get. Oh, shredded. these tanks are in the air too. This is this is suboptimal for the very least. I mean, oh, oh man, that that, that tank that, that. Um, so this, they're just probably going to have to lift. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think Monk should just back up to his natural right now. Because um, without the combat shields, they mean these marines is a death sentence for them. Yeah, these these marines are very bruised. Monk's 1 1 just finished, so um, if he engages once these combat shields, or once his combat shields get up, uh, he'll be in a lot better p position uh, if he wants to fight against these. I mean, he is down 30 army supply. Yeah. Oh, I let this. Uh, you see that at the uh, at the choke. This is sneaky, right? It's gonna force Picker's army to rally the the long way away around. Yeah. Which, oh, but man, this is a good concave. This is not the fight that Monk wants, and I I think Picker may be able to just push through there. It's gonna be a close fight though. Monk is doing a good job with picking off the Ravagers, which are really the what do the damage here. And Picker's gonna be forced to back up, even as he is uh, doubling Monk's army supply. Yeah. Stimmed bio good units. Although, man, these, each all the bio is at like five hit points. Not exactly the, uh, not a not a continuing fight. I mean, but Monk does have six medevacs, so these are going to be healed up in no time. Yeah, he's even getting uh, plus one vehicle weapons, uh, which is interesting. He's added on the second factory, so um, he's probably going to really commit to this uh, uh, tank of style. And what is interesting is, I don't know whether through the mistake or choice, Picker has declined to get the plus two armor upgrade. Instead, vying for just a plus one attack or a plus two attack and more roaches, um, and that has not seemed to really pay off for him. He's only up uh, sixteen army supply at this point, and these are sixteen army supply of roaches. Right, roaches are not the roaches are not supply fit in, uh, efficient in the slightest. And then we have the plus two armor coming up, but there is going to be a significant timing window where Monk is going to be up an upgrade with a more complex army, unless of course Picker manages to get an infestation pit or something between now and then to help him fight that army. And Picker's seen that medevac drop uh, into his main with an overlord, and he's only now reacting, so he's going to lose a decent amount of drones with this. 
Um, and this is something that Monk really needs to do if he hopes to fight against the Zerg in the late game. He really needs to just keep the Zerg's economy down. Because, I mean, look at all Picker's Bank. Like, that's fucking huge. That's an well, immense amount of resources. Any Zerg late game army needs a lot of gas. And that is one thing Picker's Bank is missing out on. Yeah. And on top of that, when Zerg gets scary, you know, late game, when they get Ultras, Broodlords, things like that, it requires a hive. And it requires an infestation pit. And that is something that Picker does not have. It looks like he's doing his best. He's, he wants to stay on this kind of 2-2-ish, 2-1 uh, uh, Roach Ravager attack. But Monk is in a very good position right now. He's actually surpassed Picker in army supply. He is ahead on upgrades, very ahead on upgrades. He's got an additional army upgrade, and he's got tank upgrades. And he's got a fantastic Sim City as well, so it's going to be very difficult for Picker to get the concave he wants to fight into these tanks sieged up amidst these different barracks. Yeah, and this will be great even in the later game, um, once those ultras come out, that we will probably see eventually, because um, that'll force their pathing to, you know, screw up and, you know, they'll be stuck in the building, stuff like that. So and, um, it's just a great choice for all points of this game. Yeah, and Picker really needs to do some damage here, right? He's only on three bases, so he's on even bases with the Terran, which is not something you want. And oh, GG. GG.